Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the GPU instance or Unity asset to instance the prefabs that you generate from code. GPU instance supports an extreme number of objects, and it's not always convenient to have them lying around in the scene like this. A likely scenario is that you will want to generate them from code at runtime. This is the scene as we left it off in the previous video. What we did was to add a prefab manager to the scene, and to that prefab manager, we added the prefabs that we wanted to instance. So I'll start off by removing the asteroids from the scene. In the prefab manager, because we added them previously, the number of objects are not correct. I'll just register the prefabs in the scene. Well, there are no prefabs in the scene, so it's, it, it will be a reset operation. Behind the scenes, I've added this asteroid generation code here. Let's have a look at it. The majority of this code is res responsible for instantiating objects around the planet. We have some private variables here, and some public variables to give options of how the instantiated prefabs will look like. What is important for our purposes here is the code in the start method. But let's have a look at the awake method before that. In the awake method, we go through a loop and instantiate the objects around a random position in a circle. What we do afterwards is add these instantiated game objects to a list. Well, this list is of type GPU instance or prefab. This is the script that's being added to your prefabs when you add them to the GPU instance or prefab manager. We didn't have to do it like this. We could use game objects and access their components later on, but this is convenient. We also have a reference to the prefab manager here. And after all the instantiation is done, in the start method, we call the GPU instance or API. Simply, what we do is to register the prefabs, sending them a reference to the prefab manager that we wanted to use, and the list of objects that we wanted to instance. After the registration is done, we call the API again to initialize the GPU instance or prefab manager. The GPU instance or API is thoroughly documented. Uh, you can hover over the methods to see the parameters or the definitions of the methods. Uh, or you can always check the class itself to see the definitions of the methods here or, and their parameters. But back in Unity, I will add, a, uh, add an empty game object here, call it Asteroid Generator. And I will assign the script we have here on this empty game object. Um, for the count of uh, the objects that we will generate, let's start with 50,000. Column size of 6, uh, column size of space of 2. For the asteroid objects, well, we have 3 asteroids. And I will just assign our prefabs here. These are the prefabs that we registered in the prefab manager. And we will pass in the prefab man manager reference itself. This script also wants a center transform to distribute the prefabs around. Uh, so I will just send in the planet as a reference. And this is all we have to do. We can start the scene now. And we have 50,000 asteroids generated at runtime and GPU instance reapplied to it at runtime. And currently we're seeing a solid 1000 FPS. Uh, I'm running this on a GeForce 1060 graphics card. Let's increase the number of uh, asteroids we have here. I'll take the count to 200,000 and start the scene again. 
this initialization code will take some time. Um, the Unity is going through this loop, determining all these random positions for uh, the objects around the circle and uh, instantiating each object. And we have 200,000 um, asteroids generated right now. I'm seeing a solid 100 FPS, 100 to 120 FPS. And we have shadows on. That's it. We have a lot of asteroids here. <laughs> so, in the next tutorial, um, I will show you how to add rigid bodies on these objects and use physics with GPU instances. Thank you for watching.